one of my favorite moves to tell a guy when he was cutting things off with me is glad you said something. I didn't want to hurt your feelings. Like, for example, if someone texted you and was like, hey, like, I just think we're better as friends, but, you know, like, or I don't, like, see this going where, oh, I'm so glad you said something. I didn't want to hurt your feelings. Roasted. Welcome to The Wall. In today's video, we'll be looking at several modern women ruining dates with men. From one woman who ordered six different dishes expecting the man to pay, to another on a first date who wanted the man to take her in and give her a ring. To top it off, we have a woman on the wall responding to a gentleman who says it's hard to find women these days who want to build a family together. Your support is incredibly important to us. Give us a like and subscribe to the channel. We're aiming for 150,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Share your experiences and advice in the comments. That's what helps this community grow. Turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos. All right, let's get started. So yeah, I'm on a date, right? And I ordered six different meals and this man do not want to pay for my food. I don't know why. Six different meals? Girl, come on now. But he told me to order whatever I want and I really didn't have the appetite for anything. He forced me to come to the restaurant. So now I'm here, I ordered six different dishes. No appetite, my ass. Girl, you order every goddamn thing on the menu, but the thank you please come again. So I had got, for one, I got an appetizer. It was ox sale um, dip. I ate that. And I got jerk chicken. This one there. I, I started, um, and not the Rasta pasta. And I got me some ox sale too, but I also wanted me a fried snapper. And this like the pineapple bowl. Girl, it's giving, I need food at home for my family. And that's his drink. That's my drink. I ain't really like that drink. And he got the two liquors. But yeah. Well, damn, is all he gonna eat is some drinks? And he just ordered um some more food, but I can eat. Oh, I forgot to show y'all. I had got um some fried green tomatoes and some oxtail egg rolls. Girl, some more shit. Oh yeah, your ass feeding your neighbors too. He like, damn little lady, you really can't eat. And I'm just like you invited me out, you know? Oh, y'all has to be washing dishes because you know goddamn well if you had to pay for that shit, you wouldn't have got nothing but water and chips. Oh, hell no! But, brother, how desperate for a free meal is this woman who, on a date, <laughs> orders six different dishes? It's because of things like this that you see men leaving them with the bill. They're just taking advantage. Then, these are the same women who turn around and call men cheap. Can you believe that? But she also says that he forced her to go to a restaurant. She claims she wanted to get rid of him. Brothers, don't go out with women who aren't interested in you. Also, if you see a girl ordering everything off the menu, why don't you stop her? Be direct. Tell her you're not paying for that, that she shouldn't order it. If she gets hostile, let her. Just leave. You don't have to put up with bad treatment from people who are out here starving. Because if she's the one going to a place, she doesn't even have money to buy water. Yet she'll go out with guys who keep insisting and expect him to pay for six different dishes. That's why men don't go out with women like this nowadays. Hmm. So tell me this. How does it feel to know that there are millions of women out there like me whose upgrade is actually no one. Um, my upgrade doesn't have anything to do with other men. It has to do with leaving men like your ass behind. You strike me as the kind of man, one of those men who thinks that just because he files 50-50 custody for the kids, he doesn't have to pay child support. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you mad? Stay mad. And I don't know why you want to bring age into everything because last time I checked, if I open up a dating app, literally I have hundreds of messages from men in their 30s wanting to date me. Women today are the ones really ruining the future for children. They try to squeeze the father for more than he can give. You have a father present for your child splitting everything 50 to 50, and still, you keep asking for more. How do you think that man can hold it together? 
How could he leave a legacy for your own children? Then he gets tired and only sends the monthly support and they get mad, saying he's not doing enough for the kids. No one understands them, brothers. Then they wonder why men push back against this oppressive system. Just because you have men on dating apps doesn't mean you have men genuinely interested in something serious with you. They're just looking for a night of passion because, as a single mother, they see you as an easy target. Would you rather go buy me an engagement ring right now or decimate everyone in that restaurant? Now that's your sign. Could never see her the Lulu ass again. I could just go down to a pawn shop and buy a fake ring. So yeah, that works for me. So you want to give me a fake ring? If it involves getting out of killing people, yes. How about a ring pop? For your ass, commit away from him. So is there a reason that you don't want to propose to me? Because we've just gone on our first date. Oh, and what's the what's the problem? That he downloads that app. Any of you watching this, if you don't see the problem either, I'm very concerned about you. Oh, oh, so now you're going to turn my audience against me? At this point, you should be running as fast as you can. But I'm looking back. Fuck up, you crazy bitch whore! Brothers, this woman is crazy. I would have been out of that situation with that lunatic a long time ago. How can she ask for a ring or to move in with me? It's the first date. I don't even know you. She seems like a woman who probably doesn't even have a place of her own and just wanted this guy to take her in for free. She acts offended, like he doesn't get what the problem is. Brothers, this is what it's like, going after the first guy they meet because they're desperate. This woman is a red flag. And you can see the discomfort all over this decent guy's face because of her. What would you guys have done? Okay, so I really want to make this video, and it's honestly super controversial. I think, like, a lot of men have had the same thought, but they don't want to talk about it because it's like, oh, if I talk about that, like, every girl I know or the woman I'm with is going to get upset or I'm never going to be able to date a girl again or whatever. But for me, I'm just like, okay, this is so true. Like, I have to talk about it. Does anyone else feel misogynistic, but coming on? Even though there's something in the back of this guy's mind that's saying, you know what, something doesn't feel right about what I'm going to say. Something feels a little bit off, a little fucked up. But he's just going to say it anyways. But I'm like 27, I go to church, and I've started looking for a spouse. And it's just like you go in society today, and like the girls that I've met are just like, they're not like real women. Like they're not, I meet so many girls where it's just like, it's just like, oh yeah, I'm going to go to the gym, make myself super attractive. And I'm only going to date him if he's like good looking and wealthy. Like I honestly, I live in Tampa, Florida and there's a ton of, there's just like this normalized culture here of just like gold diggers. Okay. There's a lot to unpack there. First of all, pick, pick one or the other. Is it a girl or woman, a wo woman, woman? Pick one. But right there, just referring to women as girls, eh, you give yourself away a little bit. So changes are happening, women, because this guy's noticing it. He says women are just looking for a man who is uh, good looking and wealthy. And what's wrong with wanting a man who has his stuff together financially? We're called gold diggers, ladies, because broke men like this can't get the women he wants. So he needs to shame women who are looking for men who really have their stuff together who are at the top of the list as uh, people they want to marry the most instead of this guy. Typical misogynist when deep down inside he really wants certain women to like him, but he's seeing that women are going for somebody else. So he'll call them all kinds of names and words. You can only imagine what kinds of names and words he'll call you behind closed doors. 
He also likes to guilt and shame women for taking care of their physical health and not running around like wild animals like men do, thirsting after the opposite sex to become a wife and a slave house servant. Duh. Of course, we're not doing that. They haven't brainwashed us to do the same back, and they're losing their grip on the women around them. The fairy tale, the fantasy that they fed us of romance, to be to trade in our life to be a house servant, is falling. Brothers. Misery loves company. This is the type of woman who creates more single women. What this man is saying is valid. You can't find a woman today who wants to build a life together. Most of them just want the winner, not someone they can help win. Take this woman, for example. She's already on the wall, pushing 40, single and childless. The typical woman who ends up with a dog or cat but thinks she deserves a rich man to pay her bills when she's not even about that life. Her time is running out. But let's go back to what the gentleman says. He's not asking for a woman who's a 10 out of 10. He just wants a woman who values family. In a place like Miami, though, women are more interested in finding a rich guy who's going to have fun with them but won't commit. Because, like I said, they want to wait for men at the finish line. The problem for them is that there aren't enough of those men for everyone. Like, they're literally just dating guys for, they're, they're thinking, oh, he just cares about sex, so I'm just going to care about his looks and if he's wealthy or not. And we're just going to agree on this. Like, that's what's going on. And I'm just like, where are, like, the real woman? Like, where's the girl, like, you know, find, like, girls just aren't the way they used to be. They're not, like, how girls were in, like, the 1800s and, like, early 1900s, where it's, like, a real woman, like, she grows up, she really wants to get married, she really wants to have kids, like, she, um, you know, her favorite thing, like, she loves to cook, she loves to clean, like, she wants to get married and have kids so much, she, like, dreams about, it. like, girls, I feel like girls aren't allowed to be like that in today's world, instead, it's like, I feel like society, like, forces them to be these, like, workers. The last part where he says that society is forcing us to work? How about society forced us to not have rights and forced us to be give away our slave labor in the home because we had no other choice? This guy's next life is going to be a woman for sure. I'm almost sure of it because he does not get it. He does not understand that, no, women don't want to clean houses for the rest of their life. Some of us don't even like cooking. Sure, some of us may want to have children, but that doesn't mean we want to be a caretaker for the rest of our lives. Do you understand where people we have... Uh, musical talents, artistic abilities, we're smart, we're educated, we can, we're a part of society. We're not just a slave housemaid. And then he brings it back to the 1800s. Does, has this guy taken a history class? Does he not realize that women had to get married? That your grandmother had no other choice but to get married because the patriarchy set it up that way? It's be homeless or be married and have babies. Never mind the fact that he keeps degrading women and calling them not real women because we don't want to go along with something that makes no sense at all. It makes no sense. They want you to stay delusional. Don't worry about money. It, the guy will take care of you. Ish. He won't run out on your family. He's not going to leave you. You'll be fine. You just find another man who will abuse you the way that I did. They want you trapped in the home so that they can do whatever they want so that they have all of the power. And women are waking up to that. And he's noticing, hey, some stuff's changing. Women are waking up. Women actually demand, I don't know, not to be a slave their entire life. To find a man who actually has money to pay for children before she even sleeps with him. Now, some men know the game. But this guy is brainwashed. He thinks that women actually enjoy this. Like, his grandmothers actually enjoyed that. No, we couldn't say anything because there were constantly men around us. There was always going to be some kind of backlash. And the only reason why we're talking now is because we can. I'm sure as hell not going to have a man in my house for the rest of my life, so I'm going to be very loud. I'm not afraid to speak. Your grandmother couldn't speak. Your mom probably still lives with your dad. They told you women like this. This is what we love. They tried to brainwash us, and we're unbrainwashing the women here. And you're noticing the changes happening all around you. Because no, women didn't get a fair deal. We're much more than a house servant and a baby maker. We're human beings. Good luck finding real women. Because they're waking up in droves.
And we're definitely running away from men like you. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. I'm sure I won't have a man in my house for the rest of my life. So finally, something we agree on. <laughs> First off, let me give this man a piece of advice because he's starting to sound like a victim here. Yes, it's true that things are tough out there, but your body and your finances are your responsibility, something you can control. Complaining about your appearance will always hurt your self-esteem and attractiveness, but I get your point. Today, the problem is that women have been sold the idea that marriage is slavery, that taking care of a family is oppressive and stifles their creativity, their entrepreneurial life that many don't even end up having. I've seen women have kids and work. I've seen women raise their kids and then go back to school, get a good job, and stay married. Even if they don't work, I've seen women happy to be raising a family, something their husbands and children appreciate. But a single woman doesn't understand this because she's selfish. She has this bossed mentality, unwilling to sacrifice anything, and believes that any man who wants to be with her has to have it all because she won't help him build anything. The problem is, they constantly criticize women who don't choose to be like them, calling them oppressed. When you see them both at 50, you realize the one with a family and kids is often the happiest, with a sense of belonging. Meanwhile, the other one is bitter, alone with a cat, and angry at men because the winner she was waiting for never showed up. We've reached the end of the video, but before we go, the questions are for you. What do you think about women no longer being traditional? Have you ever gone out with a woman who tried to make you pay a huge bill on the first date? If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell. Your support means the world to us and motivates us to create more content. Stay tuned for the next exciting video from The Wall.